Welcome to a short demo about the University of Virginia's Student Information System. In this demo, we cover enrollment, which includes searching for, adding, dropping, swapping, and editing classes. In the academic section of your Student Center, you can search for classes and manage enrollment activities. Use your planner, add and drop classes, add yourself to a waitlist, and ask instructor permission to enroll in a class. To begin identifying classes you may wish to enroll in, click Enroll, and then search for classes. You must identify at least two search criteria to execute a search. A popular search is by department, but you can use any combination of criteria to narrow your search. Career, usually undergraduate or graduate, defaults based on your level of study. The results show all the classes that meet your search criteria. Multiple sections and lectures with dependent labs or discussions, also called related classes, are grouped together. Click the class number to see detailed information about the class, including description, enrollment capacity, and remaining number of seats. Some instructors will even post a link to their class syllabus. Click Select Class. If the class has a related discussion or lab, you will be prompted to identify your desired section. You are also able to check the Waitlist if class is full box to be added onto the Waitlist section if the class is full. If allowed by the class, you may be able to change the grading basis or number of variable credits. Click Next to add the class to your pending enrollment requests. You can start entering classes to your enrollment requests about two weeks prior to the first add date. Validation allows you to check your proposed schedule for time conflicts and unmet requisites, but does not save a space for you in the class. You cannot actually enroll in your requested classes until your scheduled appointment time. Once your enrollment appointment has begun, you may complete the enrollment process. Use the check boxes to identify which classes you want to add and then click Enroll. To confirm your classes and finish the process, click the Finishing Enrolling button. On the View Results page, you will see the status of your request. You can also drop classes you've previously added, edit to change the grading basis, variable credits, or discussion for a class you're already in, or swap one class for another. Please pay close attention to the difference between Edit and Swap. To drop a class, select the Drop tab and then check the box to the left of the class you'd like to drop. Click the Drop Selected Classes button to proceed to the confirmation page, and then click Finish Dropping to complete your action. If a class has multiple components, such as a lecture and discussion, the transaction drops both components. If a class you previously added allows you to select the grading basis or is offered for variable credits, you can use the Edit tab to change those values. You can also use Edit to change a discussion or lab or to alter a waitlist request. Click Edit and select the classes you want to change. Only classes that permit a change can be selected. Depending on the class, you may change from graded to credit, no credit, change units, or change a discussion or lab. You may change a discussion or lab while remaining enrolled in the primary lecture by selecting the new section from the list of available sections. Only discussions or labs that still have space available are displayed. Once your changes have been made, click Next to go to the confirmation page and then click the Finishing Editing button to complete the action. Swapping classes allows you to maintain credit limits and avoid time conflicts by dropping one class and adding another simultaneously. By using Swap, SIS will not drop you out of your current class unless it is able to enroll you in the new class. Select Swap and then identify the class you want to drop. 
Identify the new class you want to schedule by searching the Schedule of Classes, selecting a class already placed in your enrollment requests, or by entering the class number. Once you have made your selection, you will be taken to a confirmation page where you will select Finish Swapping. Remember though that if you want to change a dependent lab or discussion while remaining in your current lecture, be sure to use Edit Not Swap.